Hello, everybody. Rob Beasley from the um, the Gaslighter Chronicles, and this is a farewell to my family. Sadly, um, I've decided to move on. Um, it's not been it's not been a difficult decision um, because everything's clear in my mind about what happened, who does what to whom. Blah, blah, blah. So I'll explain as we go through. Um, one second. So my history is such, I'll just get access to... Sorry. Right. Now, you'll notice here, right, <laughs> before they pull it down, because that's what they'll do, they'll scurry once they find out what they're up to, at the moment they haven't worked it out. I'm being abused by some internet bully, bullies. Now, these, this is Bulldog 101. He's constantly at me, night after night after night. Uh, this is Kerberos. He's the same. And this is a guy called Boppy. He's from England. Now, they're part of a very large group of internet bullies. Oh, and up here, Bopalot sent me a message. So what they're trying to do is get me into a room and trying to psychologically uh, weaken my resolve. It's not possible um, for a number of reasons. So this has been going on for three years. It started with a guy called Chaz Wald, the Almighty. He's the main protagonist. Um, and everything's been documented, so I've managed to capture a lot of the bad behaviours but it's extremely difficult to get anyone to really hear me. I've become a bit of a lone wolf or a lone voice in the wilderness. The majority position is that I'm the one that's unwell or why don't I walk away? Now, I'll explain that. And please, please, please try and listen to what I say and please try and listen and to the quantity of what I'm talking about the magnitude of the abuse. So I came online, sorry, I wrote a book, What Is This Thing Called God? It's available on Amazon. So everything that I say can be validated unless I qualify otherwise. Um, so I wrote this book and I was really pleased with the research findings and the conclusions that I drew and I felt that it had a lot to offer humanity. What was it to offer? Well, spiritual understanding and ultimately I hope for spiritual enlightenment. When I came online, I came across this um, terrible human being by the name of Chaz Wall the Almighty. And he's basically persecuted me from that day to this day in various manners of uh, gaslighting abuses. Those abuses have led to uh, two stays in mental health care. One of 19 days and one of 16 days. And months and months and months and months of persecution. Today, what we're seeing there, um, you know, you're seeing just a small sample. I've got you know, a truckload. It's been that beauty. All, but all I was trying to do all the while was just say, hey, stop it, tell the truth. And th these people incessantly lie incessantly lost. Fortunately, in the fullness of time, I've gathered some really good friends and they're people that are enlightened and some non-enlightened but just good people. And they're starting to see my side of the story. So I have now more people backing what I say, even though I have good evidence as well. And one of the most frustrating things of this lengthy journey is the fact that no one would hear my story. They they hear the lies that they, and they tell why that these guys pop out and they back those lies. It's an insidious, insidious thing, this gaslighting. If you go to the Good Wolf channel, you'll find a number of videos in there that actually explains explicitly what gaslighting is. Um, and it also, uh, I give you specific examples where the particular bully group, um, uh, the particular bully group, Oh, really tired for me. 
but I have to do this, so I'll get it out of the road and I'll hit pay. So where the particular bully group, um, you know, do their deed, and it's very obvious. So what is gaslighting? Basically, it's a lie to told against your reality, which causes you to um, feel uncomfortable and want to, you know, set the record straight. And these guys are incessant. They just go bang, bang, over and over and over, repeating it with the aim of breaking you your confidence. Now, in my case, um, I had that experience. Now, there's another one. This is Chaz Wild Almighty, the colourful one. This is Bulky from England, Cerberus, and um, so it's good. They're all here. You know, it's very late in here, so they're obviously going to extreme measures to try and psychologically whack me around. Again, that's not possible. Why? Because of enlightenment. How did I become enlightened? From my book. Which part of the book? The teachings of Jesus. I came to understand them perfectly. The Cherokee Nation teachings were the same. And I then began observing these behaviours in humans and my confidence in my spirituality has grown to the point where I really think that I have a 100% grip on it. So that's where we're at. Um, so that's the psychological battering and the terms of it. Now, I have a group of friends, right? Um, there's uh, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15 today. That group of people, they know fully my circumstances. They are, they are uh, enlightened in their own rights, according to the Jesus teaching. And they're very competent intellectually. Once, if anything should happen to me, they will take over. They will take control of the situation. And we'll see the closure of all these people. So I want these people all off the internet. And there's a group of people that have got special outcomes that I want. Um, and they are, they include jail time. They include uh, a legal remedy based on um, defamation. Because the fundamental building blocks of a gaslighter, this buy against reality, is the base backbone of defamation. And I also want to take these people to task on the, the certain group because I don't want to persecute people. I just want, there's some that have persecuted me and I want to make sure that justice is done for those particular individuals. My team know all about that. Yes, we've already um, started the proceedings against John May he's in Australia by submitting a claim form to ACON. The police have visited my place probably about a week and a half back now. And they took away some evidence that I provided and what I'm waiting for is whether they can produce a case. Now, um, uh, there's a guy called uh, Chas Walden Money and a guy called Service Hex. I've asked down the corner to initiate the legal proceedings. So I don't want us to go too deep at the moment because of finances, but I definitely want um, those people serve, serve their notice. So that's those two. And that will probably do for the moment. But uh, no, I do have others with specific requirements. So there's a group that I want to stand naked, well, with their jockey shorts on, and make a full confession. If they can do that in an authentic, meaningful way that I feel is genuine, then I will release them from any bondage. Unless there's something that, that they've done that is quite uh, terrible. We will be gathering, um, this is already happening, um, we're gathering intel on these people, particularly their family members, not to be invasive of those family members, but we want those family members to know the behaviours, behaviours of their loved ones. Because whilst they may love their loved ones, they treat their victims as if they were nothing like, nothing more than a piece of paper or a piece of crap. That's inappropriate. We are all born equal. These people assume in their mind that they're intellectually higher up the food chain. That's not a true statement. They're actually very fundamental in terms of their knowledge. In fact, the group uh, in the enlightened group had to do, and I say this with high commission, do have a superior intellectual position. And if you think I'm joking, we can put up demonstrations by our two 16-year-olds, boys, uh, and they will demonstrate, um, sorry, 
if they do, because you cannot tell people what to do, um, they will put up a demonstration to show the actual awesomeness of their talent. While I ask, and um, it'll be up to them whether they do it or not. Now, if I look over the side here, right up here, so this is some more badgering, right? Rob, get help, please. Bulldog, he's banging. Yeah. I don't know who said the Rob, get help, please, but I very rarely get a comment like that. They'll throw it in. It's a, what I call an ask covering move. They'll throw that move in, and then they'll. Then they'll be very abusive to my family. You know, they say some absolutely horrible, 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 horrible things. This guy up here, Bob Lot Barnes, that guy has been sectioned in this in the thing. Yet he still torments other people. He, he, you know, I find that fundamentally obnoxious. Fundamentally obnoxious. These are these are terrible, terrible, terrible behaviors. And they have to be stomped out, guys. So to my team, you know who you are. We don't give the names out. You'll never find out. Um, but they will pursue these people <laughs> to the ends of the earth, these hounds from hello. Um, and, you know, I, I hope through my persistence, they, you know, they'll respect me and respect that request that I want that to happen. And I don't want it to happen in any short, short or sloppy way. I want it to be fast and lethal, like a razor. I want these issues resolved quickly. Alrighty. Um, so now to my family. So this situation right, has caused me to leave my family. Now I've made that decision, and I won't be reversing it. Um, what? Well, sorry. There's only one method or one reason that I'll change it. Only one. And she knows what exactly what that is. Um, I've decided that well so through the um, mental institution stages, those stays at mental institutions please, through those events, um, my wives and my my wife and my daughters, because they had an alternate position and they were actually self-serving, it was very egoic, they basically supported um, the doctor's position. Oh, oh, yeah. And I think my wife now understands, or at least I hope she does, but you just never know with these ego monsters, it's such a mean, nasty little critter. And that's the reason, basically, that I've decided to move on. I just don't want to live that way anymore. I just don't. I don't want to be... Uh, going in and out of mental health institutions. But see, the thing is, I won't stand down. It's not in me. Because if I stand, because the golden rule and the code, if you like, is that we must, must, must love our neighbours. And that means love all humanity. So for me to walk away from this sort of abuse isn't loving my neighbours. Because these people will persist and persist and they will go on to cause harm to other families. It's just simply not appropriate. And, you know, these guys actually make, make this is fun for them. You know, it's sickening, sickening behaviour. And it affects spirituality. And that's the biggest crime of all. The greatest gift we have in life is this human um, thing called um, enlightenment. Because what it does is it it's almost look, lifts us up a level. No levels, though, right? But, just really, um, you perform extremely well. You're relaxed, calm, measured. You love, love, love. So it's got all the good stuff going on. And I'm not joking. It's not a benign thing. It's not an ethical thing. It's real. It's 100% real. So um, what I... So... The spirituality of humans is defined explicitly and very clinically clearly by two survival instincts. One instinct looks after the self, so it doesn't give a fuck about anything else, just the self. The other instinct that is in all spirituality is this thing, well, we call it a good wolf or whatever, but it's on the lookout for all other humans bar the self. 
as a direct inverse of the other. It's neat how these things are so so clinically laid out. And it's these instincts <coughs> through time that deliver our lies, our egos, our love, um, uh, on the ego side, hate, um, our joy, etc. <laughs> etc. Right, so it's this interplay of duality that delivers the true spiritual story. It just is. And so, um, oh my goodness, this is a bloody another nightmare. This guy, I don't know if you can see that. So there's a guy called Sydney the Snake. So they're all out, the whole pack's out at this late evening and their agenda is to persecute, persecute, persecute me. That's what goes on. This has been my life with these people. I don't worry, it doesn't bother me, but what happens, this is the oddity that happens. When I'm doing this or if I'm staying up late, I get castigated for staying up late. I, um, you know, you're not helping yourself, you're not well. But I am, I'm fine. I don't need a lot of sleep, I just don't. And, uh, oh, there I see, I'm yawning, I do need some sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to bed early tonight so they can't bully me on that one. Um, but, um, yeah, so th there's an interpretation. So I'll, I'll actually work with these guys trying, I'm always desperately trying to get through to the human. And I can't seem to find that gateway. Can't. It's one of the most frustrating things in my whole life. But I you know, hope to get through to them and then from that guide them on uh, public apology because that's really important. And um, just guide them on, you know, the, the path of spirituality. Now, when I say things like that, they sort of think I'm a nut nut or, you know, it can't be true because they see things from a much harsher loving environment. So, um, uh, so now, so this is, so that's the abuse, definitely there, we've got things in place. So all in all, we've, we've really won the battle, if you like, it's just a matter of doing the housekeeping on the way home, not giving quarter. So when we've made decision, we need to stick by them so that they know next time. We say something that's what's going to be the outcome um so now to my family who i love dearly um, i've got a wonderful family i'm going to be leaving my family and it's all due to these people oh there's another aspect oh hello viewing them too um it's all caused i have the utmost conviction so if you want my judgment call and that's another thing these preachers do they're always judging people um, take a good hard look in the mirror. So, um, you know, if you've asked me my judgment call on the mental health conditions that I suffered, I would say with the strongest, strongest, strongest conviction that the precursor to that condition and the cause of that condition are the likes of John May, um, Sidney Schneider, Bobby Lockie, um, Hermit the Crab and the uh, Cerebus Rex, uh, John May again, and Sidney Schneider, right? And I wouldn't let those guys move an inch from their nakedness as an animal um, until they made the confessions in pull open um, confession. So that's that part of it, and the precursor is that. Now, the other part um, is. Yeah. Well, you've got an element with um, the maintenance of the house, you know, getting money in. So there's a whole bunch of things which I've spoken to the other dudes about, so we won't go through that now. All right, um, just to wrap it up. So to, to my family, my family, my family, I've, I've decided to move on. Now, in life, guys, in life, guys, the spiritual story or the code of our spirituality, which is very, very real. You've got to find it and you've got to follow it like glue. And it, I promise you this, it will do you um, no harm whatsoever. In fact, it will bring you great, not greatness, but 
really strong Buddhist. Now, James, of all the kids, is the next most naughty. It's interesting that James is 16, and it's also interesting that the two boys in this story, one from Melbourne, Australia, and the other one from Canada, um, uh, he's 16 now, but he was 15 when I gave the sex ed talk to him. It's really interesting that these these young guys are here, right here, right now. I interact with all of them, and they're all brilliant human beings. They have awesome intel intellect, absolutely awesome. There's a group of 12 other people, um, oh, and a couple of others, and they are what I've been teasing these pricks with, hounds of hell. Hello, hello. They are an enlightened group, and their role in all of this will be to carry on the work I started until it's finished. They, I won't name, uh, I've named a couple just to give them a clue, but um, there'll be no more naming. Um, those people will just come out once some, they'll do the deed and then they'll be gone. That's the way we roll. We don't like all the fanfare. Alrighty, um, so the family. So James is um, yeah, love a guy. Even from the day you know we first knew him, or oh, sorry, when he was young, 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 he used to go to the lady next door, and I observed him. I just watched him. The maturity of the way he interacted with her, well, I thought it was quite special. But now I understand why. He's born in life. I know that I'm born in my Why I come off as looking a bit edgy, because I've developed my own tactics, tactics over time of how to manage people. Um, and it's, it's rather abrasive, but if you're a good person, you've got nothing to fear, and usually with good people, well, almost always with good people, I have great discord and great company. Only when someone is false, falsifying things, I seem to be able to pick it up quickly and I do call them out immediately. And that will never change. Oh, sorry. So James has got himself a lovely lady. Um, very impressive. <laughs> I thought, geez, you've done well there, mate. So he's going well. Like now he's he's fine in life. I already know that. So no matter what happens to me, he doesn't need me in his life. You know, if we bump into each other through the course of life, you know, we'll have a quick couple of chats and see how we're going. We care for each other and their well-being, but then we just go on. We don't, we don't do the needy crap. It's just not our thing. Um, so Melly, 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 um, Pally, <laughs> and Jess are a, a wonderful, wonderful couple. I'm just so impressed with them. Mel's really intelligent as well. I'm not sure about the the enlightened thing, but I guess probably, but I, I don't know. Personally, I just see it just a tiny difference. But he's a very special dude, and um, uh, if he falls into the right set of circumstances, he'll do something special for the place. Um, then we've got, um, I'll probably not be tripping trip over a few, because I've got seven kids. Uh, we've got Benny, 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 Benny. Um, now, Benny's a lovely guy. I think the thing that blessed Benny, he must have run into a good teacher at a certain point. And so he's your regular good guy, you know, and really comfortable in his own skin. Loves his cooking. He's got a beautiful, beautiful young lady. So, again, the family seem, well, they're the boys. Now, not all we've got down yet. All the little boys, they seem to land on their feet. Dan's one guy that I had a fair whack of trouble with on the journey. Um, but his, and this is probably because I didn't understand this condition. He may well have it, and I've sort of recommended him to get it checked out. Um, so uh, if that's, a, well, actually, I think it's probably definite now because he's had a son, and um, he's, he's classed as autistic. But he's just a light, and you can just see his intelligence. There's a special thing going on. His mum and Daniel's wife is a lovely lady. I started off on the wrong foot, you know, misread the play as I can do. But um, no, I'm really impressed with her. So I hope that they have a good and happy life. Then we've got um, the two troublesome girls um, who I won't have anything to do with going forward. 
but there has to be consequences for certain actions. And these were soul destroying actions that they took. They took initiatives based on observation and, you know, the clinical um, uh, psychiatric view of uh, bipolar. And they assumed without asking or discussing, not that I'm, well, I might have been busy, so I may not have wanted to discuss, but um, it's important that you don't make a judgment call until you get both sides of the story and you actually listen to both people. Because people, uh, the normal average Joe person, um, what happens is they, um, they, um, they, you know, they don't really listen. They're stuck in this egoic mind. So it's something that I'll continue to study. Um, so it's it's on my, uh, you know, working out these little brown cards. So, uh, oh, where's the future? Um, so that's Dan and his lovely lady. I think we're at five-ish. And Amanda. Oh, sorry, Angela. Angela, I don't want to see you again. I'm not joking. You might say it sounds like it's hard, but what you did was terrible, terrible, terrible. You really fractured our family. Despite a few, but more importantly than that, I was I was at the point of having a very, very important discussion, something that I'd worked on for quite some time. And your actions trashed that whole effort. I'm not joking. Uh, I can explain that extremely explicitly. I'm not going to, but um, because I'm moving on. But yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, now, um, um, she, uh, and she's got a lovely boyfriend, probably one of the nicest guys going around, he's an Asian dude, his name's Albert, um, but he puts up with the, unfortunately, he's got high tolerance, right, he's able to um, put up with a lot of shit, but people, peeps, peeps, you shouldn't put up with crap, it's not a good idea. Um, yeah, so uh, he's fine. She's the problem. She's got to sort herself out. Um, and she can talk to James and maybe he can help. But if he says he doesn't want to, then, you know, it might be a problem. Um, um, Mandy is is very much cut from the same cloth as Andy. And for the same reasons, the same outcomes happen. She's got my daughter, a lovely uh, granddaughter. She's a delight. Uh, she's, I think she's nine-ish now, not big on the dates. No. Um, so uh, she, um, yeah, it's rather strong-headed, you know. We always had, um, so with most, well, with all of my kids, I didn't have a lot of drama. Oh, sorry, that's not true. In the early days, I wasn't the best of fathers, but I've learned, so I think I'm okay now. Um, so, uh, and Mandy, Mandy's got Simon. Simon's a salt of the earth type of guy. Mandy's the one that's got to address things, and she's the one that needs to change, or she'll end up in one of these psych joints. And um, finally, Sammy. My darling Sammy. Sammy is a delight, beautiful, beautiful lady. And uh, such a face, such a smile, great with her friends and everything. And Sam, uh, oh dear, a little bit of emotion, but Sammy went to Sydney, 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 Sydney. Sammy went to Sydney, and um, I think. Um, and I'm very confident that I'm right here. I think she was um, date raped or something of that nature. She was taken to the hospital. Uh, she was then diagnosed, and unfortunately, the diagnosis was bipolar. This is going back, um, oh my gosh, 20, 30 years now. So she's been on this bipolar um, thing, uh, sorry, um, the lithium medicine, same as me. Um, she's been on it for you know, quite a long time, over 20 years. And, you know, it affects her weight. And then she, you know, her moods are a little bit uh, stilted. 
Now she w tried to um, she tried to go off the medication, and in, when you do that with this fucking lithium, what happens is that you do actually go through some behavioural consequences. So it's a bastard of a drug because we are children of nature and we should stay there. When we try and break nature or can, um, control nature, it invariably doesn't work well because it's such a complex um, reality. So, um, uh, yeah, so that's Sammy. The, the good news with Sam is that um, she seems spiritually solid. So I gave her the talk and uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll uh, amount to something. So I think that's everybody. <laughs> if I forgot, if I forgot someone, I'm sorry. Um, I'll be around, so I'll, you know, what I plan to do is um, uh, take half the house if that's possible. Uh, you might think that's harsh. Um, I don't. I think it's the right and fair thing to do because my life was trashed by my wife uh, for years, and she knew what she was doing because we've been through it. We witnessed that this thing occur, this terrible behaviour occurred twice, and now we're seeing it for third time. So for me, third time is out. Um, yeah, so, um, excuse me, my wife, lovely, lovely, lovely lady, but I'm going to live by myself, and I'm happy doing that. I want to be happy in my remaining years because that's the call of nature. Nature wants me to be that way. Um, so I live independently. Um, there's lots of things I'm interested in. Um, in doing, I've, but I've achieved so much in this in this three years. Um, what I've achieved is slowly being released into the wild. So hopefully I'll get some results. But I know that I, I know that I have some good strategies. Um, uh, so, um, darling, uh, you knew where this was coming from. You knew. You know explicitly that you made a conscious, or maybe subconscious, but I think conscious, decision to look after yourself and make sure that your jealousy, jealousy um, needs were capable. So you made that choice. You, you knew the consequences. I told you about four times that if you did that, you know, I wasn't going to stay. You did it, and I'm gone. I'll be out of your life, but I won't be there unless it suits me. Um, or if you call me, and I'm, I'm free. But the way I will live my life, I'll be doing whatever I want to do at the time I want to do it. So if you're calling me to go to a, um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> baptism, <laughs> I wouldn't go to a baptism. If you're calling me to go to those sort of things, I won't go if I've got something more that's more suitable for me. So it's not meant in offence, but um, there you go. So that's that. That's life. Now, I don't feel miserable. I do feel a tinge of sadness, not a lot, um, because that's not the way I am. It doesn't mean that my love is pure, and it's 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 the quality love, the natural love. I think I've been loving and addressing all of the family correctly. don't know that there's anything else I want to say. And we just get on with life. And for you guys, just do the same. Just do the same. When we're enlightened, we're comfortable in our own skin. So do the same. Live a full, fulfilling life. All right. I think that'll do it. Thank you, one viewer. <laughs> An audience of one. Oh, before I go, here's the here's these persecutors, these fucking pricks. Just to show you, right there they are. There they are. Yep, that's them. They're real people. Cold as hearts, cold as the fucking stone. Now, get, Rob, go to bed before you stupid up your life anymore. So, see, the tone and the direction of that is, I find, offensive. And that's why he's going under for defamation. What he's done, he says, Rob, go to bed. The emphasis there is all the impression he's trying to create. It's that, Rob, you need help. Rob, this, blah, 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 blah. 
Then he says, before you're stupid. So that means it's my fault because in his worldview, everything occurs is my fault. And he's just there to pick up the pieces so that he can make fun of me and have a good laugh with his friends. This is the nature of the, um, of the point. He then goes on to say, uh, your life anymore, please. Yeah, right. So it's pretty obvious when you look at it in slow, slow down detail that this ma malicious, sadistic, fucking cruel creep is really just self-serving. So he's only doing it for his own reasons, his own agenda, because there's no inference here of any, um, anything else going on. It says about staged up your life, any problems, any more problems. <laughs> uh, now, here he goes. Go back to your wife. No, fuck you. See, th this is another thing. They seem to think it's okay for them to assume the role of controller. Tell you what to do. Go here, go there, go up, blah, blah, blah. And with the inference being that you, the victim, is the problem. So go back to your wife before you F up the rest of your life. Well, no, you asshole. I ain't stuck up my life. I'm actually liberating myself. A lot of people are uh, caught up with these ideas, these notional ideas, that we absolutely must follow tradition. The code is very clear. Code says, leave me alone. Hello, three viewers. The code says, do not stuff with me. The code says, I can be whoever I want to be, whenever I want to be, with whoever I want to be. That's my, <laughs> your choice if you're to be a friend or a lover is to accept that reality. When you do accept it, your quality of life improves. And he says, don't be stupid. Well, too late, too sad. Did you not hear? It's been done. I've made my decision. I don't change unless I have good reason to. And I don't see any good reasons because you've got to remember I lived this life and that little demon, that possessive demon, you have no idea how cruel, you know, it is coming from such a loving person. It is what it is. So, so here we go. This is Boppo. So this is a turkey from England who's been sectioned, meaning that he's been in mental health care. He says, yo, and he... You know, they want to get into trolling or whatever or doing what he does. So it's the persecuted person per persecuting the persecuted or something like that. And here's uh, John May. He's an absolute nightmare. I mean, if you ever get a chance to have a look at one of his videos, uh, yeah, you'll be in for some amusement. Hmm, Mum's house. He's banged up. Yeah, all right. Um, so what happens now, you know, these people just stick up for each other. So that's probably the most, that's that's probably the most damaging and hurtful thing from the whole process is that you, as an individual, you go into a community and, you know, I think that I have a lot to offer. Um, I have a lot of quality information and a lot of it actually works and improves lives. So I walk into the community with that and we're wanting, willing and wanting, uh, now that doesn't mean I'll do it now. <laughs> what I'm saying is that's how I felt then. I might decide not to bother with this stuff anymore. So, you know, I'll just look at something else of interest because that's what the 16-year-olds the do. They tend to just find their own interest and they just let the rest go to, through to keep it. I have a problem with that because I, if I can help someone, I'd rather help them. So anyway, Bulldog says Bezo is cornered. So that's a reference to Bezo being, you know, psychological trap. I just got a message. He is in unwilling me to a hoe, but I can't find it. Uh, they play mind games, right? It's all tactical, but it's all very cruel. Sadism and, um, and doggy.
Yeah. Yeah, so that's only a small portion. Um, we might go out and have a look, see what else is out here. Oh, if we come over here. Uh, see, Cerebus has realised that he's on cam. But he's sort of like he's put in the trap. He tones tone, his language down and his inferences are gone. Uh, Bulldog here, he's banned. That's something to do with banning. Yeah. Drop a lot. Okay. Uh, Jesus. All right. That's him. Yes. We've looked at that. Yeah, here we go. Just to show you how that it is long running computers. All right, if I. Hopefully that's coming through, but if you go up, right, look at it, this constant badgering from lolling and laughing, all at my expense. That's quite long running. Up and up and up. <laughs> Look at it. it. Goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And what happens? Then um, what happens to you, right? Is that people say, as a solution to this prolific um, badgering and bullying, they say, "Why don't you leave?" <laughs> well, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on. What about my reputation? What about my book? What about the time that I spent, um, which is equivalent to about $250,000 in terms of lost revenue? What about the t time I s terms I spent? What are all those things? Do they mean nothing? So it's a bizarre story. Bizarre, 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 bizarre. All right, it's time for me to hit the hay or else I'll be in trouble for that. Um, peace, love, and rock and roll, may they enter and belong to your soul. Uh, hmm. well, what I suggest that if you're interested in enlightenment, maybe read the, um, the, um, read the, um, well, certainly, um, oh, I've got a blank. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, um, the YouTube channels, so my YouTube channel and the YouTube channel of the Facebook. All right, let's wind this up. So look, I can fill in the gaps anyway. Stop broadcast, no. So, hang up. Good night. Good night.